Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. It's Barry here with Boston. Say hello. Hello. You're saying hello and all that stuff. Uh, yes, today, I'll put them down there. I am making some Jägermeister chocolate truffles. Obviously I need to wash my hands first, but check them out. They are looking absolutely gorgeous. They're super easy to make. I was sent this recipe and you can tweak it. You don't have to use Jägermeister. You can use any alcohol you want or even keep them non-alcoholic. You're gonna love this. Hit pause on the video now. Write all these ingredients down. Yeah, baby. <laughs> My random shout out for this video goes to Paul uh, at PMDUK69. I just tweeted out that I was making these Jägermeister truffles and he's replied, just remember not to drink the ingredients uh, before the cooking. So some of you guys that have been here from the past, uh, quite in the past quite a lot actually, you'll know that I've done quite a bit with Jägermeister and uh, we do get on quite well. Some quite funny videos you might have missed out. But anyhow, uh, the ingredients we've got here, just a knob of butter. Uh, this is a mixture of dark and milk chocolate, but you could use just dark if you want it a bit more like dark and richer. Uh, some whipping cream here, so AKA double cream here in the UK and of course the Jägermeister. Let's get going. Now the first step guys we're going to just pour our cream into the bowl above the water that I'm bringing up to that slow uh, simmer. Now you don't have to do it like this you can actually pour the cream straight into the pan and warm it through but I'm just going to find it a bit easier doing it this way when we add our chocolate into milk in a bit. If there's any cream left over you can be like this. You, you don't have to do that. Might as well make sure all the cream is in there all good. Uh, a spatula is also very important in this recipe which I'll come to in just a bit. All right, I can just hear the water in the pan is beginning to simmer, which is going to warm up our cream. So we want to get our cream uh, not piping hot, okay? We want to get it so we can stick our finger in it for about a couple of seconds, and then we'll add our chocolate and butter into this party. But keep your eye on it. Yeah. Keep your eye actually on it. No, no. All right, we're now at the stage where our cream is getting nice and hot. So what I'm gonna do uh, is grab my chocolate, which I've put into a bowl for convenience, so I can tip it in a bit easier, and just add it straight into that cream and let that residual heat in there. I'm gonna keep it moving around, melt the chocolate and the cream all together. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely loving this texture. And you know what I was saying earlier about the spatula? I just love how you can just swipe and take stuff away from the side of the bowl. So it is now ready uh, for our knob of butter which is right here, a knob of butter. Does that, say that sound like quite English, right? Butter, old chap, or butter. Uh, there we go, our butter is sat straight in there. And of course, our Jägermeister. So around about two shots of the alcohol of your choice, so if I'm using Jägermeister, yeah, <laughs> that's Jäger. Uh, in goes, one shot and two for luck. Okay, so this cakes it like a nice little spank. You can definitely taste it, but feel free to ramp it up if you need to. So I'm just gonna stir this through now, get it all nice and incorporated. Oh my goodness. Okie cokey then folks, it's looking good. The Jägermeister and the butter has fully combined in there. So I'm taking it off of the heat from away from that water. Facial, instant facial right there. Uh, so I'm gonna let that cool down just for five minutes. And then I got some good news and some bad news. All right. All right then folks, so here is the bad news. Um, well, basically you have to leave it for quite a while now. And also you've got to play around with cling film. And if you're anything like me, you get it all over the place. Uh, so basically you need to line your bowl. Uh, you actually need to push it right in uh, to the mixture, okay? And get it nice and sealed with cling film. Uh, and you have to put it in the fridge for five hours at an absolute minimum. But I recommend putting it in overnight. All right, yep, so that's going in my fridge for ideally overnight, as I say. Uh, but luckily for you guys, guess what I did last night? Yes, that's right. I already made some. Uh, so this is some refrigerated truffle mixture, ready to go. After about five hours, uh, you could like, if you touch it, it's still quite soft and tacky, but leave it overnight and it is super firm, which will make it a lot easier to handle, baby. All right. Okay then folks, so the final stretch, peeling off uh, our cling film from our firm but fair it's almost like a brick uh, truffle mixture right there. But it's very important to keep your hands cold uh, during this step. What you're also gonna need is some cocoa powder, so a nice little bowl uh, to roll it in, and then a board to place it on. So all I'm gonna do uh, is grab a teaspoon and just scoop some of the mixture out. So around about a teaspoon full. Uh, here we go. Dum. Like that, see that? I just wanna eat that right now. But instead, with cold hands, I'm gonna just take that ball, roll it up, so as we roll it up, our hands get warm and the heat is gonna make it melt. So you need to be fast, and as I say, keep your hands cool. With your ball all done, you roll it in your cocoa powder. Push it all around there, use another spoon if you like. Get it all nice and coated. Oh yeah, baby. And then just sit it on your board. So I'm gonna repeat that step lots of times, and that's it. 
After a good old session of rolling, I've done at least 20 here, I think it's about 22, 23 like that, and I've still got a good amount on the mixture left. I'm thinking, just for me on my own, that's quite enough. So I think it is only fair that it is time uh, to taste them. They've held their shape, and obviously adding that cocoa powder on it just really finishes it off and makes it look quite sophisticated, even though it's loaded with Jägermeister. So here we go. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I'm in Jägermeister heaven. Um, I don't recommend that you wash it down with some Jägermeister. There is just enough of a spank in there of the Jäger. If you want it stronger, guys, feel free to ramp it up and let me know how you get on. But there is just enough. Very subtle, kind of like, you know, like having rum uh, truffles, but so, so good. I really hope you give this recipe a go. Uh, if you do, send me a picture at my virgin kitchen. I'd love to see all of your recipe attempts, all that stuff. And if there's anything you want to see me make next time, let me know down below. Enjoy the video, guys. Check out my last videos uh, if you haven't already. I love you so much. Enjoy these truffles. Bye bye. Oh my god. Melt in your mouth. Mmm.